Hello, Vegico here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, uh, Red Eyes Ritual. This is a deck that I have been using from time to time, every now and then. It kind of evolved uh, since the Link era, but this is the current current iteration, so let's go through everything card by card. We have Double R.I.S. Pendulum Craft Dragon. And this burns the opponent every time and then monster is summoned from the extra deck, it can negate a spell and when used in the pendulum zone during the end phase it can return to the hand and search a ritual spell. It doesn't specify whose end phase, so you can just set both our ice pendulum, pendulum graph dragons in the scales and activate one during your end phase and the other during the opponent's. Next we have Arise Gravity Dragon. This is here because it's a very good ritual monster. It can... For, first, first and foremost, it returns all the back row to the hand at a spell speed for speed. So the opponent cannot activate cards or effects. And also, should the opponent want to activate something, they have to pay 500 life points. And of course the cost of the card. We have double Skullcrobat Joker, because those are our Odd Eyes cards, so we can just search them out. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, because we have dragons. Triple Red Eyes Black Dragon, because, well, this is Red Eyes... Red Eyes Black Dragon is awesome. Triple Lord of the Red and Triple Red Eyes Transmigration because we want to have that Saint Seiya vibe here. We're not playing Necros, we're playing Red Eyes. We're cosplaying as Red Eyes. Triple Manju of 10,000 hands because the Ritual deck needs the best Ritual deck searcher. Triple Advanced Ritual Odd. This is here because, well, those are level 7s, Red Eyes is level 7. Easy. Double pre-prep because, well, Lord of the Red mentions transmigration, transmigration mentions Lord of the Red, so this is basically the search for that part of the deck. Uh, preparation of rights searches out all of the odd eyes. Kageto Kage is here to facilitate rank 4 plays with either Manju or the Skullcrobat Joker. Codebreaker Zero Day is here because Codebreaker Package. Return of the Dragon Lords is because we are playing dragons. And additionally, Odd-Eyes Gravity Dragons, effect to return all spells and traps, activates on summon. It doesn't specify what type of summon. Well, it does special summon, but return also special summons. And we're also playing Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Emperm because why the fuck not? For the extra deck, we're playing one Allies Vortex Dragon, which we can summon out of Pendulum Graph. It's somewhat of a negation, but our Pendulum Monsters don't usually go to the extra deck, so that is a thing. Uh, but more than importantly, it's a big booty on a level 7 monster. Which we can then use to either go into our Red Eyes Flam Metal Dragon or Diablosis the Mind Hacker. Additionally, for our rank 4 toolbox, we have Dugaris because draw power, Baguska because, well, it's a Baguska, and Queen Dragon, Queen Dragon Jin, which can revive our red black dragon, which we are going to send to the grave with the advanced ritual art. I mentioned the Codebreaker package, so we have Codebreaker Virus Swordsman, Codebreaker Virus Berserker, Goki the Power Load Ogre, and Traffic Ghost to just facilitate all of that BS. Additionally, we have Nightmare Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn, because why the fuck not? And that would be it for today. I hope you liked this uh, pick for Red Eyes, and I will see you in the next video. Check out something out. Peace!